There is a new addition to the economy on Magic the Gathering Arena. That is the addition of what they're going to call gold packs. As you have already know, gold packs are going to contain six cards. All of them are rare or mythic, and they are all from standard sets in Magic the Gathering Arena, which are highlighted right here. So, at least two of those cards are going to be from the most current set, which ignore this green right now, but it's going to be Brothers of War right so it's going to be from the newest set and you need to buy packs from the brothers war or the newest set if they continue to do this into the future there's no telling whether they will or not it's too early to determine that it depends on how well it does actually how much money it puts in wizards pockets of course but being a free to play account this is completely free to play I have to determine whether it is worth it or not to buy packs over, over drafting. And that's really going to depend on what kind of player you are trying to be. Let's look at some of the advantages of quick draft over it. A draft is 5,000 coins. You get a value of four packs and 50 gems, which gives it a total value. If you just draw, draft the rare and the first pack that you get, no more rares all the way through. Second pack comes around, you draft the rare and you draft the rest of it normally without picking up any rares. And then third pack comes around, you draft only the first rare out of that set. And then you get another pack at the end and 50 gems. That would be a value of 850 gems, right? 850 for 500 coins. You have to buy 10 packs. You cannot open packs from, let's say, the Mastery Tree, these Kamigawa packs here and stuff like that. That won't count towards your gold pack progress at all. It, it, this is just going to be opening cards just on packs that you get for free it will not count towards gold packs at all so you won't be getting the value there but let's say you open five of them well, let's say it gives you half of a gold pack that's three rares you get five six seven eight rares right which is a value of about 1600 gems on the surface this seems like opening gold packs is going to be superior because you just do this stuff twice 10 packs or two drafts the more more value is going to be on the surface in the gold packs but we got to think a little bit deeper than that what else is happening whenever we're going into these drafts well let's look here not only are you getting the cards but look at this you get gems you get gems. What do gems get you? Well, gems get you, for one, the Mastery Pass. The Mastery Pass for Dominaria was very, very good. We're going to have to see what the value of the Brothers War 1 is. But if you're just opening packs, 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 you are not collecting gems. And if you're not collecting gems, you're not getting any closer to the Mastery Pass. And, you know... Among other things, it's really nice to collect a couple of card styles out of the arena as well. I mean, we're playing it all the time. You might as well have the fun stuff to look at, the fun arts, the pets, the card sleeves, all the stuff that makes magic important. Well, not the pets. Pets were never part of Magic the Gathering. But card sleeves? I mean, somebody comes out with some baller sleeves. You're going to be like, oh man, those are cool sleeves. Let me see those, right? I mean, it's fun. It's part of the game. And uh, it will always be essential to card games. Card sleeves. Card styles. Stuff like that. That's all interesting. You're not getting gems if you're just opening these packs. You're not getting them at all. You almost have to continue to draft to get the gems that you need to get the Mastery Pass. But one thing is true about 
drafting. If you're drafting to play in standard, you get diminishing returns over time because eventually you're going to have a good portion of your set filled out all the way. This one is not even close. It's a little bit deceptive because 87% of one of each card is what this is saying right here. So you will get diminishing returns. You're not going to collect four shieldreds and draft. I mean, people are going to scoop that stuff up real fast, right? You're not going to get four Sarah Paragons in there. You're going to get a lot of chaff rares, which is 100% buying. But once you get the 3,400 gems, then you could buy the Mastery Pass. And the Mastery Pass, as said, is very good so if you are just going in here willy-nilly and buying pack after pack after pack every day you know you could generally get enough for half of a pack if you do a 750 daily and get one win while doing it that is essentially one pack so it is faster it frees up a lot of time but it is not the most efficient method Right? The most efficient method is still to go in, draft, 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 and then once you start to get those diminishing returns from draft, then you come in here and you spend only coins to collect packs, and then you could open gold packs. That is how I'm going to do it. That is where I'm going to see that value because once you get the diminishing returns from draft, coming in here, Finishing out the rest of the set with buying standard packs here seems like the way to really push this forward and get it done right. I'm really excited about gold packs, but I do not think they replace draft. They enhance your ability to collect the entire collection in a more smart way, but it does not eliminate our need to draft nor would i think that that would be very fun because drafting is an essential part of magic the gathering and it always will be but that is just my opinion let me know what you think down below um if you think that it's actually e better to just buy packs now or if you think drafting is still an essential part of what we're doing but i'm out of words don't have anything else to really say cool. thank you for joining today make sure you've liked and subscribed your guys' support is incredible um i really do appreciate that support that's it i'm out see you in the next video bye